Hey guys, and welcome to my review of the Nike Tiempo Legend 5 model uh, in the FG stud pattern. Um, as you many, many of you may know, this is the new uh, model of the Tiempo Legend line that recently released in December 2013, so just under a month ago. And it was released with huge hype. Um, all with good reason, of course, because the Tiempo Legend uh, line is known for its superior comfort, uh, great fit, and its super soft kangaroo leather upper. Um, I guess I can start off with the upper, of course, as that is what many people actually buy the Tiempo Legends for, uh, for its extremely soft kangaroo leather upper and it is no different on this t on the Tiempo Legend 5 it is extremely soft flexible kangaroo leather upper offers a great touch on the ball let's see if I can focus here there we go um, extremely soft flexible offers a fair amount of stretch not a lot and I'll get into sizing later but yeah as you can see um, in the forefoot it does have that quilted pattern uh, many of you notice that it is um, almost identical to the Nike Ronaldinho Dois I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right I actually never owned a pair but it looked extremely comfortable and super soft um, but yeah Tampa Legend 5 uh, has an almost identical stitching pattern uh, works well um, very similar to the Tampa Legend 4 and again, I'll be probably doing a little comparison later in the video uh, with the fours. Uh, so moving on, the next major specification would be the, let's see if I could focus in on this, the Hypershield Synthetic Instep. And what this was supposed to do, um, from what I've heard, is that it was supposed to uh, absorb less water um, which actually I can say after playing in extremely uh, wet conditions and actually puddles on the field um, I did find that the Tiempo Legend 5 did absorb a little bit less water uh, than the past Tiempo Legends um, which is always a good thing because water uptake in your leather boots is not a not the greatest feeling and then also afterwards um, gets annoying when it comes to drying etc etc but uh, yeah this hyper shield um, in step is actually uh, really nice um, it's like the the Kangalite on the um, Tampa Legend 4s, except I would actually say it's better. Uh, both because it absorbs less water, which is what the Kangalite was really supposed to do as well, and it's actually softer. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's just, it's almost like it's a continuation of the kangaroo leather. And it's extremely soft. But yeah, that's great. Uh, moving on to the heel counter. Um, there we go, Tiempo. It's just a plastic one. Uh, good for stability and support and protection. Uh, yeah, no, no, nothing to complain about there. It's very solid. And then I guess now we can move on to the stud pattern. I should, probably should have cleaned these before doing this review, but I actually thought afterwards that it would be uh, good to see them in its natural state as these are going to get dirty no matter what surface you play on. Um, but yeah, uh, here we go. They have the conical studs with the two support studs in the middle and then the sort of ovular circular slash bladed studs in the heel. And this stud pattern works very well on all surfaces, I may add. Um, 
uh, which is which is great. Yeah, it's a good it's a good stead pattern. I didn't find myself slipping at all, um, especially in the wet weather conditions on um, natural grass fields. I found myself very stable. And as we can see, we have this um, uh, what what do I call it? A plastic overlay, just for the flex for flexion purposes. Works very well. Oh, just drop some mud on the floor, but it's okay. Take that down. All right. Um, now let's see. I think I can go to the the heel liner, and this is where another area where it's different from the Tampa Legend Fours, uh, in that it's actually uh, a, a synthetic. Uh, plasticky material, not the suede heel liner that I came to love in the Tampa Legend 4s and the Nike Tampa Premiers, uh, which was a disappointment, but obviously uh, I can't complain. It's not much of a comfort uh, issue. It's still very comfortable and works well. No slipping really at all. Uh, as we can move into the ankles. We have these uh, design here, which is pretty nice. Uh, inside, we can see that the tongue has a memory foam insert, just like the previous model as well, uh, which is great. Um, feels really nice and very comfortable. Um, also, I actually have to mentioned with the tongue the standout feature for me is the tongue I just love the chrome uh, the chrome look on the tongue the chrome color it looks so nice at least for me and that's probably the main reason I got the shoe other than the fact that it is a Tiempo legend the new model but the, the tongue just looks really really nice to me I just uh, I like the chrome feature and um, actually a uh, I actually had the Galaxies, and I saw that on the sample models of the Galaxies, it had the the swooshes on the sides as chrome, which got me excited. But then when I got it, I got them in person. It was actually uh, like a metallic gray, which was very disappointing, and which is part of the reason I got the decision to sell them, um, <laughs> just based on those aesthetics, really, which is kind of sad. But it's. Um, Moving on, uh, inside here we can see a honeycomb, uh, if I can get a good focus and light, it's like a honeycomb uh, synthetic and it feels extremely similar to that on the Nike Hyper Venom Phantom, the Nike skin. I'm guessing this is for breathability um, and I'm sure this material does dry a lot faster than um, your average um, synthetic uh, liner inside. So that's good. Uh, no comfort uh, issues there or durability problems there. I found them to be very solid. And now, last part, I guess, would be the insert. And this is pretty much your standard Tiempo insert. As you can see, it is it does have the little pores for a little bit less weight, but other than that, it's really just your average pawn insert. It's peeling there. Now it just looks like Oro gold. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, very solid. Uh, no comfort issues there as well, and actually very, very similar to the Tiempo Legend 4. And um, I guess this is now where I can bring in the Tiempo Legend 4s. So let's just put this to the side oh. and bring in the Tiempo Legend 4s. And this is where I can do, as quick as I can, a comparison between the two. But right off the bat, I can say that these two shoes are almost identical on feet. I really cannot tell the difference if you had me blindfolded um, for the most part. 
uh, the differences between these two on feet and performance wise. I can say um, that the leather, let's see if I can take one of each, push these to the side. There we go. Okay, that's better. Uh, I can say that um, I found the leather on the Tiempo Legend 4s to be actually softer. Um, as we can see here, it's like a, you can see that this nice cushion feel. On the Tiempo Legend 5, there's no cushioning on this leather. It's pretty much a, a, just a single layer um, without any cushioning, like I said. Whereas on the Tiempo Legend 4, we can see like this little cushioning pattern, which I actually preferred, to be honest. Um, but it's not a big deal, really, on touch-wise, because at the end of the day, it's a really nice kangaroo leather on both shoes, which offer the best touch that you can possibly get on any shoe, really. But yeah, as you can see here, let's see if I can focus. There's like, there's no padding. And once again, once again, I'll just show you on the Tampa Legend 4. There's a little bit of pad in there, you can see it. Um, so that's one major difference. I, would, well, I wouldn't say major, but one noticeable difference. Um, other than that, uh, of course, like I mentioned before, the, the Kangalite portion um, uh, is not as soft on the fours. It's actually much softer on the fives, uh, which is nice, a little bit more flexible. Uh, offers that nice uh, padded instep. Uh, let's see, what else? Heel counter, all the same. Both plastics. Stud patterns, almost identical. In fact, actually, it is identical. Apart from this little plastic strip um, for the flexion, but pretty much the same. Kangalite. Uh, is much soft, or the synthetic instep, I should say, is much softer on the Tampa Legend 5. A little bit more plushier, a nice uh, softer touch. Um, hmm. Uh, well, you can take my word for it. The the inserts are pretty much the same. Uh, except the Tampa Legend 5 also has those pores in them for uh, a little bit more breathability and that lightweightness. Uh, it doesn't make much of a difference. And in terms of fit, I think that's the main question. Uh, both fit exactly the same to me. Both fit extremely true to size. Um, starting off, just like if you um, wore the Tampa Legend 4s, they were tight and at a certain point they were a little too tight but after some wear they do stretch and they mold your foot and they fit perfectly afterwards and um, that's no different with the Tampa Legend 5 as you can see I got a size 9 there we go size 9 US uh, 8 UK in the Tampa Legend 5 and the same goes for the eh, can't even see it but it's yeah same size 9 US 8 UK and the Tampa Legend 4 both fit exactly the same um, both fit true to size both fit my foot extremely well and um, I mean I, I guess I can try and do a uh, a thing where I match up the boots so you can see. Let's see if I can put it up a little bit. There we go. So let me bring it closer. And I have both both boots leveled. And as you can see, lengthwise, they are almost identical uh, lengthwise. So you should have no problem uh, with sizing. Um, I know a lot of there's a lot of reviews that are saying go half size up. 
um, but I honestly don't think that's the best uh, decision if you want a tight fit. Obviously, if you want um, a little roomier fit, you think your feet are going to grow a little bit more, you can go half size up. Uh, there's no, there's no harm in doing so. You can, uh, of course, double sock or, or whatever needs to be done. But if you like that nice snug uh, fit, uh, tight around the, uh, tight around the foot. Um, True to size is definitely the way to go for me. And I think, oh, one last thing to mention. I know a lot of you probably wonder about weight. And uh, I think the listed weight for the Tiempo Legend 5 is around high 8, low 9s. And the Tiempo Legend 4 is or low 9s-ish. And in hand, they feel exactly the same. Both very lightweight, both will not hinder any type of agility, speed, etc. No boot will, it's all based on your own talent um, and skill set, of course. Uh, but I thought I'd just mention that. Uh, both are exactly the same weight. Um, and I know positions don't matter, uh, of course, but I. I just want to throw in, I'm a center mid, and I have no problem wearing either. I'm a well, I'm a, a center mid slash second striker. So, and I just wanted to mention that I have no problems uh, with with weight at all because whether it be Copas, which I've never tried actually, but a heavier boot, or the Tampa Legend Five, or Addy Zeros, um, it all feels the same. All feels very great to me. Um, so I guess that concludes the review. Uh, overall, do I, let's say, uh, do I recommend the Tiempo Legend 5? Let's switch this back here. Do I recommend the Tiempo Legend 5? I do. Um, at the 200 retail price, uh, would I buy a pair knowing that it was almost identical uh, to the t the previous Tampa Legend 4. I can't say that I would, to be honest with you. Oh, kick my camera there. All right. Um, yeah, like I said, I can't I can't say that I would because that is a, a it's a big price increase. Um, I believe the Tampa Legend 4 retailed around 60 160. Sorry. Um, now the Tampa Legend 5 retails at 200 uh, uh, that's a $40 increase. I don't, I don't think it's the Tampa Legend 5 is worth $40 more than the Tampa Legend 4. Um, but that's obviously up to you um, as the player who is going to be wearing the shoes. I can also say uh, the synthet uh, sorry, the aesthetics for the new Tampa Legend are not for everybody. Not everybody likes that different color instep. But for me, uh, I do like everything about it. The aesthetics, the performance, etc. And perhaps when a nice black colorway comes out in the Tiempo Legend 5, which should be soon, I will be uh, probably snagging a pair um, for myself, yeah. And that concludes the review. If you have any questions, don't feel afraid to ask. Uh, I'll just comment right back um, with my with an answer to the best of my knowledge and experience. And um, yeah, till the next review.